What's up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks for being here, being subbed. If you're not, hit the button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit the like. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into the real of reality TV. I am not shocked by this news, but I wanted to talk about it for a minute. So we know that Melody and Hotel have been dealing with the family courts due to his initiation in trying to gain sole legal physical custody of the children just to be evil and to get a check. And Melody, she did what she had to do and responded. And I've been saying for a while now that she needs to have sole legal custody and he have supervised visitation because the man is, the male is unhinged. And clearly the Alabama courts are starting to see it too. So Urban Bell is sharing the news that the Alabama court issued scathing order against him in dispute with Melody Cherie. So I'm just going to read it to you guys and share my thoughts real quick. Love and Marriage Huntsville stars Martel Holt and Melody Cherie Rogers were in court this week for a hearing in their ongoing custody dispute. The hearing pertained to Melody and her attorney who filed an emergency motion. The emergency motion is to enforce previous orders that he undergo psychological evaluations and counseling with their minor son. As previously reported by Urban Bell, Melody originally filed a grievance against Martel last July, accusing Martel of using corporal punishment against their children. This included allegations of punching and choking their son. Oh my God, it's just disgusting to read this, but I'm going to try to get through this without stopping again, because I just did. These allegations left a sour feeling amongst many LAMH fans. The judge over the case issued an order that seems to be a scathing rebuke of Martel's behavior. It appears Martel had an apparent blatant disregard for the court's orders. The court document for the order, obtained exclusively by Urban Bell, declared on March 9th, 2022, that Martel get involved with counseling with their minor son per the previous decrees. Another order issued in September 2022 forbids Martel from using corporal punishment. Per the order, the court declared Martel failed to seek the psychological evaluation. It took the emergency motion for Martel to comply almost two years later. Ridiculous. The court felt convinced that Martel blatantly ignored the order and used corporal punishment against their children. The counselor declared an expert of the court found that Martel's disregard of the orders of counseling, their children reported emotional backlash. As a result of the court's declarations, Martel is now at serious risk of losing his visitation rights to his children. He has been ordered to comply with the original order of weekly counseling immediately and participate in twice monthly family counseling with his children. Failure to comply with this order will result in losing his visitation rights. Martel must also pay Melody Cherie $7,000 towards her legal fees. He must also schedule, <laughs> sorry, it's good for him anyway. He must also schedule his remaining visits for his psychological evaluation. Their next hearing for this case is October 16th, 2024. Listen, the fact of the matter is the courts, even though sometimes there may seem like there might be a bit of a bias and sometimes the judges, they can tend to sway in one direction over another. But when it comes to orders that they have issued and they find that someone has not complied with the order, that pisses them off personally, more so than, oh, you didn't do right by the other party. They care more about you disregarding the orders that they have issued versus you didn't do right by your children or you didn't do right by your ex-wife or the mother of your children. It's not at that point in time, even though the orders that have been issued are for the benefit of the children and Melody as the mother of the children, primarily if he disregards the orders which he did, then they find it offensive to the course and the judge that issued the order. So it's a slap in their face. So it's like, oh, 
you're not doing what we ordered you to do, now at this point in time, you're disrespecting me. So I'm going to give you one more opportunity. And also the counseling that's been ordered and the therapy and all of those things, they don't care if you don't have the money to do it. Do you know how many people who are on probation? When you're on probation, I believe you have to pay. It's not just, oh, you see your probation officer every week or every two weeks. I have often people see that. I don't know. Thank God that's not something I'm familiar with. But from what I've heard, that is something that they have to pay fees for. They don't care if you can't get a job and you don't have the money or whatever. It's up to you to make it happen. Because if they have to put you back in jail, they will definitely make you a slave for the system so that these private corporations that own these prisons can make money off your butt. And so he might try to play the poor pity, you know, sympathy card with the courts saying, I can't afford that. I'm not saying that's the... I'm not saying that's the excuse that he's trying to use, but the courts don't care if he can't afford it. You better find a way because if they ordered you to do that and you haven't done it, they see it as a slap in the face to the order issuing judge. And two, this dummy, he wants to get on live. He talks about how he's living a great life. He travels, he goes on vacation, he spends time with his mom. He never once mentioned the forever long-suffering side piece, coleslaw, side chick, forever mistress. Never mentioned her, okay? <laughs> but uh, he claims that he's living a good life, right? So why can't you pay for this counseling? It's not, we know it's not just about the money, but he will always use excuses like that as to be one of the reasons why he didn't do what he was ordered to do because I'm quite sure that money is an issue for him, but when he gets the money that he does get, he's irresponsible with it because he's getting these checks being on this show on the own network, but uh, he's not doing right by the money that he has coming in because the fact that Melody has had to send Uber Eats and things like that to his house when the kids are in his care speaks volumes. So, Hearing this news, it's not a shock to me, but I just believe that he's continuing to put the nails in his own coffin and I am so happy about it because I really want Melody to be able to have full soul legal custody of those children so she doesn't even have to be bothered with him. And if he gets visitation, it's supervised. So she could just drop the kids off to the guardian at Lightem or whoever it's going to be that's going to be in the place of the supervisor for the supervised visitation, which to be honest with you, if it comes to that point, I see him being so narcissistic that he wouldn't even, he wouldn't even comply with that. He'd just say, you know what? Screw it. I'm not doing this. And he would just forego seeing his children. But honestly, I feel like that would be in the best interest of the kids anyway, because he wants to beat the kids' butts and do all kinds of stuff to them because he has these horrible rage, psychotic issues and he takes it out on the children. I saw that from a mile away. So none of this news is shocking to me when it comes to what he was alleged to have been doing to the son. But honestly, I would venture to say that he's, you know, while, you know, been wilding out on the girls too. I I, I would not be shocked by that. Because people like that, it's not about the gender of the child. They don't care about anybody but themselves. So I'm glad to see that it's going in this direction. Unfortunately, sometimes the wheels of justice turn slowly. So it takes some time. And here we are in 2024 and those orders were issued in 2022. So again, they see it as a slap in the face to the issuing um, judge who issued the order, but even with that being said, they're not immediately doing it. They're not checking in on and saying, hey, we ordered you to go to counseling and therapy. It's been a couple of months and you haven't done it yet. No, they're not going to do that. They will let it build up and then they're going to put the hammer down. So I really want to know what you guys think about this because I am happy to hear about it, but until it's come to the full completion of what Melody deserves, which is full soul legal custody of the children, then 
it's just not good enough. But this is a great beginning to the finalization of this stuff because I couldn't watch it, but I heard that he went live. It was for Father's Day. And I don't even care about the bull crap that he was trying to spew because nothing means anything when it comes out of his mouth. But uh, yeah, this is definitely something that shows that he's not father of the year by any stretch of the imagination. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for being here, liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.